The outspoken critic of President Magufuli is Tanzania's main opposition leader. Tundulisu says he's preparing to return home after nearly two years in Belgium, where he'd been receiving medical treatment. He was recently stripped of his parliamentary seat. Lisu, who is the leader of the Chadema party, says he will fight the murder in court. He spoke to VOA's Jackson Vungani. The constitution states that uh, an MP ceases to be a member of parliament when he fails to attend three consecutive sessions of the National Assembly right. without the permission of the speaker. So that is the, the ground that they used. But then you have to remember the reasons why I have not been attending parliamentary sessions in right. Tanzania. You've been out of the country. I have been out of the country since uh, September 7 of 2017. Right, which the Speaker of Parliament knows. We, I was shot when I was in Parliament. Mm -hmm. I was attending uh, parliamentary sessions uh, on that day. I was shot 16 times. I was taken out of the country unconscious, and I have remained out of the country ever since, trying to recover from my injuries. So when the speaker told the nation that he did not know where I have been all this time, mm. it was very strange because I was shot while in parliament. The world knows where I am except my speaker. Right, so you, it, this happened uh, around mid of this year, around June it of this June year. It was June 29. Uh, but you had been out of the country over a year and a half at that point. That's right. Why did it take that long for him to actually sack you? Uh, or to come to that conclusion that you were not attending a uh, parliamentary sitting and therefore you did not deserve to be a member of parliament anymore? That is, that is a very good question and I wish I knew the answer because if it's a question of not attending three consecutive sessions of parliament, then I had not attended any parliamentary session the, entire, uh, the entirety of 2018, uh, the last session of 2017, mm. and uh, two sessions of, the, of, of parliament of this, this year. So in total, I had not attended like eight continuous sessions of parliament. How are you feeling right now? How is your health? And I guess the question on very many people's minds is, when are you returning to Tanzania? Uh, Health-wise, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, since 30th of July of this year, I have been weaned off all the medications that I've been taking since I was shot. Um, the last time I was in this particular room in February of this year, mm. I came with crutches. Uh, this time around, I've come walking on my own two feet. So, so I'm doing pretty well. As to the question of when I should be returning home, uh, the answer to that is anytime. We are, we are working with my colleagues in Tanzania because uh, they're, they're, you know, the, the people who shot me have remained at large. Mm. Uh, the government says that it does not know who did it. Uh, they don't have a suspect. They never made an arrest. They have never produced a single uh, investigative report. So, so there are issues concerning my safety and security upon returning home, which must be uh, uh, sorted out. And my, my colleagues in the party back in Tanzania mm. are working on that. Uh, when they give me the all clear, I'll be returning home. Tomorrow, we bring you part two of Tundo Lisu's interview with Jackson Vungani. Lisu opens up about why he thinks there was an attempt on his life. He will also talk about Tanzania's political evolution 20 years after the death of the country's founding father, Walim Julius Nyerere.